So I just saw Crime of the Ages from the Cristiano Brothers, I think is how it's pronounced. And it's from the 80s. It's a 32 minute long film. And I gotta say, this is absolutely a classic. Wouldn't you agree? And there she goes again. Of course. There, there she goes. Of course. So it takes place at a Christian Bible camp, and a detective comes, and the director of the camp tells the, the detective that a book has been stolen. So they clearly, someone has committed the crime of the century, as it turns out the book that was stolen is a Bible. So someone stole a Bible. They're, it's the worst, they even say in the movie, the worst sin anyone could commit. Worse than murder, than uh, gluttony, lust, worse than any of the seven deadly sins, even worse than hypocrisy. Just, it's... The, wouldn't you agree, Eric, and there she, what, come on, stealing a Bible, that's, at a Bible camp, that's a low thing to do. Yeah, but... So the detective goes around investigating different people, there's a young man taking care of the pool, there's, I think that this one young man was a student, I believe, there was the coach, there was the cook, there was the secretary, the librarian, I think, is who she was. One piece of evidence that the detective and the director find is a half-eaten carrot. So the detective goes around asking people if they like carrots, and they all say yes, so everyone is a suspect. The one thing the detective finds out as he asks these people questions, they all have something that makes them not a very good Christian. Uh, somebody doesn't like praying. Somebody doesn't like preaching their religion. Somebody doesn't like... Somebody isn't really a Christian. They just like singing Christian music. So all these people, they're clearly just awful Christians. They don't represent Christianity at all. Cut me off mid-review, of course. Uh, typical Ariel. So the detective sets a trap so that everyone who is a suspect has to eat a carrot. But nobody eats a carrot except for the director, so he might be a suspect as well. So then he finds a copy of the book with... what? Well, they need to find the original because stealing the original book was a... Trying to force the, these liberalism biblicisms on us, seriously. So then they're all lined up, they're all interrogated to come clean, and even though only one person truly stole the book, all of them come clean and say that they've learned how to become better Christians. So it's... Oh yeah, Ariel, like, you're, you're the true person to say who represents Christians. Oh, Butterfingers, she got me there. And at first you think it's going to be the camp counselor, but then they pull an M. Night Shambhalama Ding Dong Indian name at you twist. It turns out it really was the cook. What a twist! The thing with the cook is that he wanted to become a better Christian, but all he knew were Christian songs. So he, f he stole the book, he, he meant to give it back, but, but clearly stealing is wrong, man. So clearly you, you're, you're going to have to go to prison and you're going to be frowned upon by God until you repent, sir. You're gonna have to learn your way, sir. So the movie ends with a camp director and the detective shaking hands to a job well done, but then they turn to the audience and they tell you that if you did not like the movie, then you are automatically a bad Christian, which I wholeheartedly agree. If you do not like Christian movies, you're automatically not a good Christian, because Christian movies are preaching a message, and that, that, that automatically means that they're good. They're no way bad whatsoever. We're... Come on, seriously, Ariel, come on. Hey, hey, no. You can't, you can't, you can't do that. No, you can't, you can't just cut off my feet. No, Ariel, you can't do that. You can't. Oh, hello. I'm Adam Sykes of the Stefan Presents Assess Productions. You may know me from several shows like The Blockbuster Show. Recently, there has been a bit of an epidemic in regards to reviews of films by the Cristino Brothers, the directors of today's film, Crime of the Age. Recently, negative reviews of their films have been hit with copyright strikes on YouTube. Uh, there was a copyright strike on our account from uh, the Cinema Snob episode on Second Glance. That Five and Two Pictures Cristiano Film Group has sent five DMCA notices to our channel. And yet positive reviews of their films stay up. Not only have associates of this channel been hit with copyright strikes in the past. Now a while back, a company called DreamWorks which I think is a little-known startup company, took down my full review of Kung Fu Panda 3 after I utilized one short little clip. Clearly, the use of this short clip was under fair use, but DreamWorks just didn't see it that way and took it down anyway. Uh, I can think of at least five of my older reviews that were taken down because of copyright. And there have been many videos that have been taken down 
because of the DMCA's or the hurt feelings of people who just can't take criticism or don't even know about fair use or anything like that and that just seem to hate on uh, reviewers, political commentators, and just bring on old shit posters who just want to get a rise out of people. The most recent example I could think of is uh, our review of The Little Prince got taken down by some company I've never heard of. I looked them up later. It turns out it's a company that's just entirely like dedicated to protecting copyright, which means going after YouTubers like me. And, and what cracks me up about that is once they have like almost our, one of our popular videos, I think the time by the time it got taken down, it had maybe 20 views, and like that was it. Also, I'm pretty sure in a recent review I released of the Dingo Pictures version of Balto. The company called Dingo took out all the audio I have of that film in the video, yet they haven't been noted yet for claiming the video, but I'm pretty sure they actually have claimed the audio from the clips that I had in it. Um, that's not the first time that's happened. It happened earlier, about two years ago, I want to say, when we reviewed The Babadook. Now that was even before I started using uh, still shots from the movies in the uh, preview screen, like in the preview icon for the video. So it was just the, the preview shot, just three dudes talking about a movie in a car, and it still got a copyright strike for no reason. There wasn't a single like copyright material at all at any point in the video. So it's like, that one was particularly baffling. You know, people like them need to have their protection. People like them, because if we can't protect them, we can't protect the people who are the most trollest of trolls, who else would be next? But also, producers at this channel have been hit with copyright strikes before. Hasbro took down my review of Equestria Girls. 20th Century Fox took down my commentary on Nostalgia Kids Electra review. YouTube took down one of my ex wigga anythings just because I did a parody of a Green Day song! Sony of Japan took down my commentary of Sword Art Online Abridged. Ain't that about a bitch! Ain't that some bullshit! Even my 150th video that was a review of High School Musical got taken down because I used a Skrillex song in it. I just don't thought this was America! So please, help end copyright abusing directors like the Cristino Brothers. Copyright infringement is stealing from someone. No! You can't use footage from the room! It's breaking copyright! We're going all the way for it. Uh, Cristiano Film Group and uh, Five and Two Pictures uh, this is, this is going to court. And remember kids, Crime of the Ages is a terrible movie. Just wait till Jesus gets back. He'll be real pissed off that you did that. He got some caps with your name on him, bitch ass. Keep playing games. I'll pray for you, asshole. Ooh. Hey everyone, you should read the Bible. It says don't do drugs. And don't get sexually aroused. When wiping your ass. And make sure you don't fuck anyone's butthole. And don't give AIDS to your uncle. Cause I come in the name of Jesus, Mary, and all them knuckles. God is my